Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here and friends back with another news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So what have we got today? Thai ambulance driver on narcotics drug charges while driving an ambulance and decided to have an accident. Two Thai women get 16 years each for smuggling drugs into Bali. Free cash for Thais to stimulate the economy. Several ATMs bombed in three southern Thai border provinces. But first up, children selling roses to foreign tourists in Phuket Island and beating them when they fail to meet the quota. Man arrested for kidnapping two girls from Cambodia and making them sell flowers in Phuket. This is not a nice story. Arrested a human trafficker, forcing young children to sell roses to foreign tourists in Phuket Island and beating them if they didn't fill their quota. Immigration Police Deputy Chief said the suspect is a 24-year-old Cambodian national who allegedly kidnapped two Cambodian children from their parents and then forced them to sell roses to tourists in the Patpong Red Light District. The children had to work from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. And make at least 2,000 baht in profits for the day's work or they would be beaten. The money was pocketed by the trafficker and the kids were then jailed at a house in Patong when they were off work. The suspect, identified as Kim Hang, was charged with several offences including human trafficking, illegal detention of minors and forcing minors to work. Police are also seeking the three other locals from the same ring. Children selling flowers to foreign tourists remain a common sight in backpacker areas such as Khao Son Road in Bangkok despite its association with human trafficking. This I feel the Thai authorities should clamp down and stop. Thai ambulance driver on narcotics charges. The Shampam province police yesterday charged an ambulance driver with taking narcotics drugs and causing injury to other commuters. The 39-year-old ambulance driver said he turned on the siren as he approached a road junction, but a motorcycle cut in front of him, as they do. The 16-year-old motorcyclist and his 15-year-old companion were sent to hospital. They will be interrogated by police after being discharged from the hospital. Wow, how would you like that for an ambulance driver? Two Thai women get 16 years each for smuggling drugs into Bali. A Bali airport official reported on October the 21st that two Thai women had been arrested for the possession of 958 grams of methamphetamines. The two women, one a janitor and the other a motorcycle rental shop operator, would have faced the firing squad in Muslim majority Indonesia, which has one of the world's strictest drug laws. However, the court only sentenced them to 16 years in prison each. The two women had swallowed close to one kilogram of methamphetamines. Two young Thai girls' lives ruined, and for what? Hi there, Mark reporting for Talk Back Thailand. Here's a story of free cash for Thais. The cabinet yesterday approved a second phase of the Chim Shop. It's taste shop and spend. The cash handouts will run until the end of the year with 3 million more people set to benefit from it. The scheme is part of a, an additional stimulus package valued at 5.8 billion baht aimed at boosting the economic growth to at least 3% this year. Thailand's economy had its weakest annual growth rate in four years, expanding to just 2.3% in the second quarter as exports declined amid rising international trade tensions and the strong baht. The additional package is part of the government's 316 billion stimulus program, which was rolled out earlier this year. The measures announced include a second phase of the consumption promotion program, which requires a budget of 2 million baht. A reduction of real estate transfer fees worth 2.6 billion baht and low interest loans from the government housing bank, valued at 1.2 million baht, Mr. Utuba said. Under the second phase of the cash giveaway, participants will still enjoy the same 1,000 baht cash handout, as well as a cash rebate of up to 20%. About 10 million people who registered under the first phase, which kicked off in 
September 23rd and offered a 15% rebate. Are also entitled to a 20% one as well. The second phase of the campaign runs until the end of the year. Online registration begins very soon. Based on the first come first served basis, registration is limited to 1 million people a day. The Deputy Prime Minister said yesterday he held the cash handout saying it will boost consumer spending which in turn will stimulate economic growth. The scheme will also encourage more people to travel and spend in the provinces. The measure is expected to attract several hundred thousand more shops and business operators to join the scheme. To be eligible for the cash handout and the 20% cash rebate of up to 50,000 baht for tourism related spending, ties aged 18 and older are required to sign up at the Chim Shop, Chim website and, and download the Potang mobile app from Krung Thai Bank. The rebate will be paid by the government later. The cash handout needs to be spent using the Potang app at participating shops in specific provinces within two weeks. Neither perk can be used in the receiver's home province. Yeah, on that subject, Mark, the Thai Tourism Stimulus Package for the Thai residents at 1,000 baht for the elderly people to register and was done by a smartphone. As some of it was impossible to do with some of the requirements to register. Now the second stimulus package is only for the people that were successful with the first registration. So if you didn't register the first time, you, you will not receive the funds and the funds are for travel and that's travel out of your local area as for promoting Thailand in Thailand for the Thais. Several bombs in southern border provinces down south of Thailand. Insurgents allegedly blasted several ATMs in the southern border provinces around 7 p.m. last night. But there were no injuries or fatalities, with security officers saying that the situation is now under control. A spokesman for the International Security Operations Command Division or that aside from bombs going off in many places in the three southern borders, some also exploded in Songala district. The bombs were designed to cause disruption to the banking system. Many suspected objects were found in many areas, but so far no fatalities or injuries. The 4th Army Region Commander ordered soldiers to carefully carry out their duties to prevent any loss to the public. 